Hey YouTube, what's up? Josh and Cadron here again, Minecrafter in EHD. Um, today we are going to be showing you how to make yourself a bed in Minecraft. What a bed does is, not only does it look amazingly awesome, like this right here, what it does is it allows you to go ahead and you sleep in it at night time, and not only does it allow you to skip forward to the next day, but aside from skipping to the next day so you don't have to deal with the creepers and stuff, it also becomes your respawn point. So you can spawn wherever you have a bed if you die. So what you're going to need to do that is you're going to need to make shears so you can shear a sheep. Or you can kill it, but then then that's gone. If you shear a sheep, it'll just keep regrowing its wool. So Plus you get more. Yeah, plus you get more. So to make a shears, you need to go ahead and mine some iron, which I've already done. Got some iron ore right here, which you can find in a mine. Uh, we'll do more videos on mines later if you don't know how. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make yourself some charcoal, which is the most efficient fuel source aside from a lava bucket, but that's just a waste of iron. So, to make that, you need a furnace, which to make a furnace, go to your crafting bench, uh, line the outside every block except for the middle with cobblestone. That'll give you your furnace. To make the crafting bench, you just go here, for wood. Just a recap of some old videos. So, right-click on your furnace to use it. Go ahead and stick wood in the bottom. The only thing you can use, or sorry, stick wood in the top. The only thing that you can use to make charcoal is wood. Wood has to be what you're burning to make it. As for the fuel, you can use any wooden product. So you can use fence pieces, ladder pieces, but the most efficient one... Saplings even. Saplings even, but they don't last very long. The most efficient fuel is wooden planks. So I've got some wooden planks here. So go ahead and use the wood points. But the only thing you can burn to make the charcoal is an actual wood block. Nothing else will work. But as a fuel, any wooden product, including saplings, will work. But once again, the most efficient is that. So then you've got a charcoal. Glad about it too. So go ahead and make charcoal your fuel source now that you've made it. Oh, and just a side note. Even if you're making charcoal, like even if you've got charcoal down here and wood here to make more charcoal, even doing that is more efficient than using wooden planks as a fuel. So, for example, even if I were to take this one charcoal piece and put about four pieces of wood in the top, with that one piece of charcoal, I would have made four pieces, minus the one I used to make it, so that means you get a three charcoal profit, so to speak. So, even using charcoal to make charcoal is more efficient than wood. And anyway, so what you want to do is you want to use your charcoal or any wood product as a fuel source, charcoal's just the best, and put your iron ore in there. Now what that's going to do is that's going to turn it into iron bars. Ingot, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, ingot is called. It's called iron ingot, which is just a fancy word for bars. And as you can see, that's done, and I've still got tons of power left in the furnace from that charcoal, because it lasts for a decent amount of time. So then you're going to want to go ahead, go to your, you can even do this in your inventory, because it only takes two. And just a nice diagonal line, and that will give you shears. Now, yeah, I now this. what you want to do, come with me, Kaden. You want to go find yourself a sheep to shear. Now, to make the bed, you're going to need three blocks of wool. So, sometimes you can get that from one sheep, sometimes you need three separate ones. They drop anywhere from one to three blocks when sheared, and only one when you kill them. But, if you shear them, they eat, they eat some grass and regrow their wool. And then the grass regrows as well, obviously. Oops, Kaden. Okay, so we're just going to want to go ahead. Well, shouldn't have to try too hard to find a sheep. Actually, what am I doing? We have one in the animal farm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever, see one on the way back. We'll just shoot. If, if you don't have an animal farm, then you need to go find one. But just walk. You'll find one eventually. But don't get lost. Okay, so. If this weren't an animal farm, we could just pretend we're finding a sheep here. So go ahead, find your sheep. And then what you're going to want to do is, to use your shears, you're going to want to right-click on the sheep's wool with your shears. And that'll make it look really bad. You get and from anywhere 1 to 3 or something? Anywhere from 1 to 3, and that'll make it look bad. Okay, Kater, that's enough. Mm. Okay. And then what they'll do is they'll eventually see, how oh, there's grass missing here, that's from the sheep eating it. The grass regrows, but then when they eat grass, they regrow their wool, so... Okay, can I have your wool, Kater? Yep. Is that all you have? 
Yeah. Okay. Um, so as you can see, one's already grown its whole back by eating grass. Okay. So yeah. now what you what else you need is all you need is your three wool, and then now you're going to need three wooden planks. Oh, and you're better off to put if you have, if you're gonna have, if you already have multiple floors, you're better off to put it on like a top on more of a higher floor. Because sometimes if there's monsters near you, it won't work when you die. Even you if you put it upstairs, it still won't work. Oh, really? Yep. If there's um, monsters, like, really close to you, like, really, really close, actually, like right putting, it, putting it upstairs probably will make a difference, actually. Actually, yes, Kadron's right. Go ahead and do that. Because if there's monsters really close beside you, it won't let you sleep because you have to kill them. Okay. Or sense. in a basement. Ooh. Or a basement because it makes the game more challenging. So, anyways, go ahead. Go to your crafting bench and... Click on, you need three wooden planks and then three wool above it. And that'll give you your bed. That's all there is to it. Um, so, that's what you have to do to make a bed. And by the way, if you're wondering why these things look really amazingly awesome and you can actually see through the doors, that's because I've actually got my texture pack on right now. Um, you can still feel what everything is, though, so I'm not going to bother turning it off. So then you just go ahead, put your bed anywhere you want. I'm going to put it here for an example. And then, if I could ask Cadron for you to come in here and you can sleep in that bed, I'm going to make it daytime. You mean nighttime? Nighttime, sorry. And so what you do, when it's night, you can go ahead and right-click on your bed to sleep in it. And then as soon as you do that, it's now your spawn point. So be careful if you're sleeping somewhere you wouldn't want to spawn, because this now becomes your spawn point. And then, as you can see... It becomes daytime, and it's also your spawn point. So a bed is a really useful tool, and really easy to make, too. All you need is some wool, which is easy to get once you've got some iron. And if you can't find any iron to make shears, go ahead and just kill the sheep, because sheep respawn anyway. All animals respawn. If you can't make shears, can't find any iron, just kill them to get the wool. Uh, three wool and three planks. Can't get much easier than that for a brand new spawn point. That way, if your house is way away from your spawn point, you won't get lost if you die, so... Really good invention, really good thing to make. Uh, that's always something that me and Kaden make in our first server. And uh, so that's it for this episode on how to make a bed. Um, we hope to see you in our next episode of The Basics, which will either be making, either getting food and cooking it or making armor. So we hope to see you in the next episode of The Basics, and that's all we have to say for this time. We will talk to you in the next video.